your first start uh, for Cheltenham on Tuesday against Geisley. How happy were you to get that under your belt? Yeah, I was um, very happy, obviously. <clears throat> it was my first start since um, May. It's a very long time and, yeah, it was, a, it was obviously um, a good game to get a start in as well. And the result was obviously really good. A clean sheet, so you couldn't ask for anything more, really. Yeah, yeah and progressed to the top of the table. So, obviously, the spirit in the camp must be really good. How difficult or how much of a sort of task has it been to sort of bed into the spirit of Cheltenham Town? It's been pretty easy really because like I said before the lads it's a great bunch of lads here and the spirit's really good and they've they've made me feel welcome so it's been I'd say it's been for me really really easy. And, And the work ethic here is it that that's taken the team to the top of the table? Yeah it's that the work the sorry the work ethic and um just the way the the manager has got us playing, really. Um, everyone knows, you know, I've come in and I know what I've got to do for the team. Other people come in and they know what they've got to do for the team. So it's just, it's just all round, it's just everything, the spirit, the way that we know how we need to play. And, and um, yeah, just the work, work ethic as well, yeah. And... Looking at the squad before you arrived, there weren't any wingers. Has there sort of been a noticeable shift in the way that Cheltenham have played, you've noticed, since you've been here? Or was that just sort of, you could see the gap already, that you know you could add something different? Yeah, I, I knew, obviously, that I could add, add something different. Um, I'd, I'd say a little bit has been tweaked, but not massively, no. Um, no I just I think that I've fitted in quite well. Um, and... Yeah, I think it's been tweaked a little bit, but not not much has changed now. I suppose the next task for you two is build up to being able to play the full ninety, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's that's what I, I I need to build up to, and I'm gonna do that by carry on working hard on the training pitch, and obviously getting the minutes under my belt so that I can, you know, go longer and longer um, each game. Yeah. And in terms of the way that you're being managed. Yeah. It, it looks like it's happening very sensibly at the moment. How much does that just sort of help? Because I suppose the risk is, as you up the intensity, the injury sort yeah. of threat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I've had that um, earlier on in my career. Um, obviously, coming into a, a team not on the back of not playing um, a lot, um, it does it does produce injuries. But no, yeah, I'm being handled very well by the gaffer and, and um, huts here, and yeah, I'm just really happy, really, and. Like I said, I'll keep working hard and keep trying to get to to match match fitness to pull proper match fit, um, match fitness and ninety minutes as as soon as I can. Yeah. And thoughts on going away to Southport? Never an easy place to go, but an opportunity certainly if you perform to get three more points. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Obviously, if we carry on the performance from Tuesday night up there um, and go there with the same yeah the same game plan and and. Um, Go there with the same sort of, um, oh, what's sort of like attitude to to want to score goals and want to go forward. Then, then yeah, I'm sure we can go out there and, and do well. And that sort of mentality, yeah, does that come naturally? Do you feel most of the time to this club? It it does come naturally, but with the help of the manager and the, and the, and the coaching staff, really that they install it into us that mentality, like you said. And I was trying to look for the word, the attitude of going to score goals, going to win games and steamroll teams. You know what I mean? Like literally a 5-0. Um, and we've showed we can do that. And I feel that we probably need to do that on more occasions than than what we may have done. I know obviously 7-1 against, was it 7-1 against Halifax? And 5 nils they're the only two real that, that are, since I've been here that's stuck out. Um, so I think we need to go to places and, and, and do that a lot more you know against Haven't we probably should have been five but we conceded three but you know I think we need we need to be able to do that more yeah Good man thank you Cheers Did, thank did, you. did the Halifax game uh, sorry not the Halifax game the Hartlepool game almost sort of teach you that lesson in, in many ways that for all the ball that, and all the attacking mm. play you have you, you, you do need to take those chances, chances. yeah exactly yeah um, yeah you've just said it there really yeah that, that Hartlepool game so frustrating um, but yeah we need like, like you said yeah we need to know that we can't have that many opportunities and not take them 
because um, that that happens. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that position that you played on Tuesday, sort of wide in a in a four three three, seemed to look as though it was a it was a, a round peg in a round hole for you, <laughs> like a real natural position for you. Um, yeah, I, I do like it out there. I, I've said as well. I've, I also like to find myself inside sometimes, mm. driving at centre halves, and I feel that some maybe only once actually at a, a Tuesday night I did have that chance and. Yeah. I'd, I'd get free kicks and hopefully eventually I'd start picking up assists and goals and yeah I'd, I'd, I just want to get on the ball and, and um, be dangerous. Yeah. Well, that chance you got in the first half oh, with, no. with a bit with a bit more match sharpness would that end up in the back yeah, of the net? Rather yeah, than... yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I had two, didn't I? The, the one that uh, passed into the keeper's hand, and the one that I just got a, not enough on. Yeah. yeah, just come off my toe rather than on my side foot. Yeah. I, I was obviously frustrated with that. Um, I felt I could have had a goal or two, really. Um, but overall, I'd say I worked hard for the team, and and I thought I, I thought I'd done okay. Yeah. yeah. On a completely side note, the chairman said last week that he was loving having players as house guests. Have you ever lived with a football chairman? I've before? never. No, I did it first time. No, first time, and I'm enjoying it as well. You know, he's he's like the lads have here. He's made yeah. me feel very welcome and. Like I'm just at home, really. Yeah, you've really got. Good. I think you've got Rob, Rob with got, you as well. Yeah, so. I've got Dicky with me, and so yeah, it's like it is. A, it's really good. We've got a pool table. We just chill out, pool, um, watch movies, footballs always on the yeah. TV. So yeah, it's really good. Who's better at pool? Me. <laughs> <laughs> would he say the same thing? Um, yeah, I think he would. Fair enough. <laughs>